Okay, can I wear glasses with this? Because I really don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's too too much of a glare. I wanted to rock them and kind of look a little studious. Can I do? Oh, no. That's, to, that's too much glare. All right. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakaira. If you're here for the first time, welcome so much. And if you're one of my subscribers, welcome on back. Really quick, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. You'll be notified and you'll be the first to know as soon as I upload. Today, I'm going to be talking and just doing some Q&A. If you're following me on Instagram or on Facebook, you know that I asked a bunch of questions recently. And so I'm just going to get into those questions. So if you guys want to hear a little bit more about me and get the scoop, keep on watching. This should be interesting because I didn't look at all of the questions, so I'm just going to answer them like on the spot. So let's get into these questions. Okay, so I am going to start on Facebook. The first question I have, this is from my bestie Boo. This is from Lynn Corley on Facebook. And she asks, dream vacation. My dream vacation that I would like to have is the Maldives, uh-huh. Over the water villas, full, you know, pina colada, margarita status, some skinny dipping, just, all out some some lobster all you can eat you know probably all inclusive in the Maldives that's that's all me right there that's what I want to do next question who would you like to collaborate with um oh god okay so musically I would want to collaborate with Rihanna Chris Brown her and Solange like those four are just my gig I just love them uh, Chris Brown musically can do nothing wrong in my eyes like I absolutely love um, love 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 Chris Brown if I wrote a song for either one like I would just duh, I would love that makeup wise I'm obsessed with Sandra Deluxe. She is perfection to me. She doesn't even use a makeup brush half the time. Her face looks so dope when she does her makeup. I would love to collab with her. If you're talking about maybe a company collaboration makeup wise, it would be between Kylie Cosmetics and MAC Cosmetics. MAC is just all time, all around fave. And Kylie, she's just my new fave. Uh, truth be told, I actually do have um, an invention that I worked on a couple of years ago. And she actually is the target for that. And it's just one of those things when you're inventing something, it really does take a lot of money. I didn't realize that you have to really um, pay to comb through all the inventions and make sure that what you're thinking of doesn't exist and um, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of money but um, I do have something for the makeup community that hopefully I will be able to produce and bring forth one day and honestly Kylie Cosmetics is my target. Nacho cheese or Cool Ranch Doritos? Ill to Cool Ranch. Nacho cheese all day. Next question is from Leona Arnold on Facebook and she asks did you meet Nipsey Hussle? No, I did not. Um, my husband though worked with him and met him and my bestie here in Los Angeles, oh my Janai, went to high school with him. So um, I definitely heard a lot of good things about him and people around me knew him, worked with him and yeah. Next question is, do you like to dance in front of the mirror? I don't. <laughs> I don't do it. I don't know if it's a like or don't like, but I don't necessarily do it. Next questions are from Nadine Corley. Hi, mom. And she asks, makeup versus no makeup. Okay. So, so I have to wear makeup if it's going down. Uh, music video red carpet you know 
we about to hit it on the club. We just, whatever, It it's going down. I have to have makeup on if it's an event, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing a film, anything on camera, anything with that, I have to, yes, 100% have on makeup. Truth be told guys, just so all of you guys know, truth be told, I do not wear makeup all the time. I really don't. Like most of the time, I don't have makeup on. Like I like to, you know, just be natural. I don't like to have a lot of things on my eyes. I don't want to irritate my eyes and I just really don't wear makeup all the time. But it is 110% necessary if something is going down, if there's an event or anything like that, if we're gonna be on film, we're gonna be taking photos. Oh no, it's, it's gonna be a full beat down. Next question she asks is tap water or bottled water? Bottled all day. What is your dream job without the big salary? Oh, without the salary, I would have to say, this is, this is gonna be kind of strange. So one of two things, um, believe it or not, would be a dream job without the salary because all the other things that I think about that I would do, the money has to be there. But these, I'm actually gonna give you two. These two things, I would genuinely love to do them and not care if the pay was like super crazy. Real life talk. When I was young, the job that I wanted to do was I wanted to be the tram ride driver at Universal Studios. Those of you who have been to Universal Studios Hollywood, you know the little tram ride that takes you. Yo, that was all me. I wanted to do that. I thought that was so fun. I was like, yo, I can do this. This would this would be cool. Driving the people around every day, going through the back lot, going through Jaws, going through all the, you know. I would do that and just genuinely have fun doing it because I think I like it. I really wouldn't care how much I was getting paid. And I think something else I would do would be like one of the dancers at Disneyland. I just think that would be fun. I don't know what the salary is for a dancer at um, Disneyland. It may be a good salary, but I know I would be genuinely like satisfied and happy. I just wouldn't care if I like booked a job dancing um, and just being one of the characters or something like that at Disneyland. I just think that would be fun. Next is listening to good music or looking at a good movie on the television. Oh, because I'm in the music industry, just because I think I'm actually gonna say watching a good movie. Because here's the thing, here's the theory behind it. There's nothing like listening to, to good music. Like I really think that that can soothe you and change your mood and relax you and you know, but I think sometimes I like to just switch up the flow and, and, and not hear any music. Like sometimes I just don't wanna hear anything and so I think watching a movie is just like a nice good little breakup. Next on Facebook this question is from Joanne Gray. This is my mom you guys. Um, she says when can we expect to see another combo with the dynamic and beautiful duo Shakira and Janai? LOL. You know what? Um, that is something that is in the works and that uh, we planned to do. And before the whole Nipsey Hustle thing happened, um, we were actually planning to, and I think the vibe just kind of shifted. That's someone she kind of knew and it, it just kind of, I think shook everybody in Los Angeles for a second. So nobody was thinking about doing anything and, and for a second. Like I think it just kind of knocked all of us off a little bit. But um, I actually was meaning to call her today to see what she's doing next week so we can get together. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of videos, you will be seeing Shakira and Janai. Uh, another question, this is, what makeup line could you give up completely? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna make this fair. And I'm gonna name something that I have because it's, I, I mean, you can't really, you don't really miss what you don't have. So I'll just name something that I have, that I, I've experienced and I know. I feel like I could probably, let me see. Oh my God, this question. You know, um, 
gonna have to go with, I'm not giving up anything. No, oh, lies, you know what? I could do without Sephora. I do have a couple of things from Sephora. I'm not tripping. Bye-bye. Next question is, what is your favorite number and why? You know, my favorite number is the number eight, simply just because of the way it looks. When I was younger, I just liked to do the eight. I would just do, you know, circle and circle. I don't know what it is, I just like it. And then as I got older, I just realized it, you know, kind of represents like eternity and forever and just, it's always kind of stuck with me. I just love the number eight. Next question on Facebook comes from Cash Shay Kelly. Cash Williams, hello, cuzzo. She asks, do you have a exercise and diet regimen that you practice? Um, so diet wise, I pretty much just don't eat chicken and beef. Um, I guess I'm a pescatarian. Um, I don't mind cheese. I feel like I will never give up cheese. I will not buy cheese. Okay, so I don't buy cheese. I don't buy milk. Um, I just have almond milk. If I'm out and about, like let's just say I'm at a party, the hors d'oeuvres have a little bit of cheese on it, I'm not tripping, I'm taking it down. But I don't buy any dairies, I don't bring any dairies in the house. Um, so that's pretty much my diet and I just try to eat clean. I try not to eat um, too many processed food, but that's that's pretty much my diet and, and me and my husband have been on that since maybe 2014, 15, somewhere in there and um, that's going pretty good. Exercise wise, so I try to do one of three things, anywhere from three to maybe six days a week. I say three because I feel like that's a minimum of amount of days that you need to work out a week to kind of start seeing some results. You gotta, you know, put in at least three days a week. Um, max I say six, just because I feel like you need one day to really stop, you know, recalibrate everything and just have a rest and you know not burn out um, but I do one of three things I either work out at home I have workouts on my phone I still have DVD workouts any videos or anything like at home um, I do that or I will do a walk in my neighborhood I do have like a, a bike trail that um, is really really good it goes pretty far and what I did was I just one day was like hey I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes and then just turn around that way I know I've worked out for at least an hour and um, my husband actually went with me on my walk a couple times and when he started going with me he added in whenever you get to a stoplight that you do squats and you do push-ups so there's three stoplights let me see there's one two three yeah at the third one is where I turn around so one two three turn around come back four five I basically do 20 squats at each one 10 push-ups at each one and by the time you're done walking you've done a hundred squats and 50 push-ups and it's pretty legit you feel good when you're done and then lastly um, if I don't do either one of those things just pretty much going to the gym and I just kind of had to find my machines I had to find my comfortability at the gym if you will because it, it was very intimidating at first I found the machines that target the body part that I want to work on and I found like my little route in the gym you know I just I kind of felt good about it so I was more confident to like go you know more often so that's pretty much what I do either three to six days a week I'm either at home working out walking in my neighborhood or hitting the gym. Next question from Cache Williams again, and this one is from Kalia. She says, what is your favorite hair care product? Hands down, Kira Care. I don't use anything else on my hair. Fun fact, when I moved in with my husband, I was new to the area. I did not know where I could get Kira Care. And it was a good year and a half, almost two years of using other things, and it was not cool. I don't know what it is. Right on the bottle, it's it's. I think it's a product of Avalon. Avalon, and there, you know what they're saying is the science of hair. And yes, I feel it. I feel that science. Oh my God, I cannot use any. I just love Kira Care. I don't use anything else to wash and condition my hair. Now, edge control, I don't mind venturing out, you know, whatever, hairspray and all that stuff, I don't mind, but I do not wash my hair with anything else but Kira Care, and I have used it for over 20 
years. I am faithful. They need to sponsor a chick, okay? And their new line, no shade, but it, it just, it, that, that new line ain't it. Get that classic Kira Care. That curl essence ain't for me. Get the original. I use the hydrating detangling shampoo and I use the humecto cream conditioner. That combination is fire. Next question is, oh, this is Cache again and she says from CC. When am I going to see her again? She says in LOL in parentheses, she's a mess. Yes, Cece, honestly, I've been thinking about coming out to the wineries. So I'm really hoping this summer I can come out there and get a good weekend in. I wanna spend the night. I just wanna do the wineries, you know? I just wanna do it up, have a good old weekend. So I will be seeing you soon, little boo thing. Next question is being married to a celebrity. Do you rather bring normalcy to his life around family and friends or do you enjoy basking in his celebrity notoriety um my truest joy my absolute truest joy is knowing that i can bring normalcy and some sort of safe haven to him because he has been in the business way longer than me way longer than me and i think sometimes when you grow up in the business there's just like those moments of like foggy whatever and i think i remind him of just home and childhood and 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 what real life is because i think things can get cloudy sometimes or just a wear down you know um in the industry and you know people want they want from you they want they want they want and when he comes home to me it's like I don't want anything from you, actually. I just wanna to give to you. I just wanna pour into you. My joy and my true satisfaction in my marriage is to really provide that for him and give him that normalcy, give him that home and give him just that good feeling. Um, as far as basking and things like that and the celebrity and you know the notoriety and things like that, I don't know if basking is the right word, but I feel like I'm so thankful and humbled anytime there's some other celebrity person that is you know visiting us or inviting us somewhere or or is calling you know i'm so thankful that people are still calling and knocking on our door you know i don't ever want to get used to anything that's going on you know any music or song you know placement that happens if someone wants me to write for them if someone wants me to be a part of their project you know someone wants him to you know write and be a part of the project or come do something or executive produce like that is such a blessing and 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 anyone that we do rub elbows with and, and, and that I meet you know through him and, and now they're befriending me and and they fall in love with me too it's just like I would say it's, it's very humbling I'm very thankful and I pray that we can continue to have that all the time because it really really is something special and not everyone gets to experience it all right, now I'm going to skip over to Instagram. There were a few questions that I had on there. First question is from Gia Shante on Instagram. What up, boo? She asks, how do you stay motivated and focused? Share your process if you have one. That is an amazing question. I think the way that I stay focused is, you know, you have to have a why. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if it's school. I don't care if it's a project. I don't care if it's doing your hair. I don't care if you're about to start a band. I don't care if you're gonna start a family. What is your why? Because whenever it gets hard, and it will get hard, you have your why to go back to. Why are you doing it? So I don't know per se that I have um, a process. I just know that I have my why with me and I'm, I'm gentle with myself. I think a lot of times we're not gentle with ourselves. There are times where I don't feel like doing something and guess what? I don't. I just don't. I was supposed to film this yesterday and just the way my day went, I couldn't get to it. So okay, here I am. It's the next day. Wanted to do it yesterday, but I'm doing it today. Um, I'm just gentle with myself and I just have my why. When you have that why, I think you reach your goal. You know what you wanna to get to, so when you have your why, 
you'll get there. Next question on Instagram, when is your, oh my God, your is in caps. When is your album and music video coming out? This is a great question. Okay, so here's the thing. I can't really say, okay, I'm about to come out with an album this date, but I will say this. I don't wanna put things out there because I hate when I put things out there and they don't, if I don't finish them or go to completion, it's kind of annoying, like I don't like to do too much talking, I like to make sure it happens. But I will say this, and this is in the very beginning, beginning stages. There is something that I am putting together that I will be able to bring more content. And in that content, there will probably be music and videos. So just wait for that. Next question on Instagram. This is from one oust underscore dreamer. One A-S-T underscore dreamer. Are you Jewish? <laughs> no. I am not. <laughs> Next question on Instagram is from Ed El Du Coco Chanel. I do know this person, but I'm just trying to give the Instagram name. I don't, it's E-A-U-D-E -E, Coco Chanel. What up, girl? So this one says, are you going to do some videos in regards to clothing fashion? O-O-T-D. You know, I thought about it. Um, I'm not sure. I honestly am not sure. I thought about it. But here's the thing. I kind of don't want to open that door because you got, I, I don't know that I want to put the coin down like that. I just feel like you got to really be hot. You got to really, every day, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to be up on it. And I, I'm not sure I'm trying to open that door. I don't have the coin for that. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm, mm -mm. You will know. I will do the OOTD. You, you will know. I will do that when I'm ready. I, I'm not ready to put all the coins in that basket. Mm -mm. Next question on Instagram. This is from Deva Love. This is from my mom Z. She says, what brand and shade of foundation do you wear? Okay, so I wear a couple. In MAC, I wear NC46. In Charlotte Tilbury, I wear 9.5 Dark, which I have on today. This is Charlotte Tilbury. In Danessa Myricks, I wear N07. Um, this is the Maybelline. This is the Fit Me um, Matte Poreless. I wear, this is 330, and that is Toffee Caramel. In Bobbi Brown, this one's really good. This is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. I wear Golden 6. I have so many foundations. Next question is on Facebook. I actually needed to go back because I forgot there were some inside of the messages. Um, I have from Mary Kay, <laughs> this is my aunt. She asks, yeah, do you have the finest auntie in San Diego? That is my question. <laughs> um, actually, yes, I do have the finest aunt in San Diego. Uh, you know, my aunt has literally the best skin ever i don't know how she lucked out everyone older than her younger than her like i'm sorry like her skin is bomb everyone that meets her comments on it i know my my husband when he first met her he was just like she is so pretty he was like she has great skin and i was like yes she does so yes auntie i do have the finest aunt in San Diego. My next question, this is on Facebook in the messages. This is from V and she asks, which makeup artists inspire you the most? Okay, so I actually have two. Um, 100% hands down, I'm just obsessed with Sandra Deluxe. I just love her. It's interesting because she like, it's like interesting, but simple, but dramatic. She does it with her fingers, which I still to this day can't figure out. Like, I don't know, it's just, and when she gets done, it's bomb.com. Like, it's just amazing. Like, I I just love Sandra's whole look, her hair. She does like, it just, I don't know. She's just got like this really cool, edgy look going and her makeup, like, 
I just really love her on the beauty side. She's 100% my favorite, 100% my inspiration. Um, and then as far as I got a more creative end, I really, really am impressed and I'm so thankful that I ran into her page recently. I don't even remember how I found it, but I love um, Kanisha Shauna. She is just amazing with her drawing skills she, you know she's really good at like doing 3d um, she uses props and other things like the, she'll, she'll have head pieces like she she really goes into detail with um, pretty much creating like an art piece you know it's, it's beyond makeup like she's really creating like an art piece on her face and so she's really really inspiring to me but she is very very awesome on the creative and artsy level Alrighty, that is all of the questions that I have for today. Um, I don't think I missed any questions, but if I missed any of your questions, please let me know. Message me down below, comment, you know, give me your feedback, and I don't know, hopefully you guys learned a little bit about me, got some insight and just a little bit more into who I am and the things that I like and I'm inspired by and that I love and just how I think. I enjoyed doing this video. It was really nice to kind of just get a little bit more intimate with you guys and I'm more than down to do this again. This weekend is a very crazy weekend. I am too excited about. We have end games. It's about to go down. We have Game of Thrones. It is about to go down and I just cannot wait for all of it to go down. I will be in the movie theaters in the next couple of days and on Sunday I will be at my post for Game of Thrones. I love you guys and remember no matter what is going on, you are always able to find your frequency and feel good. Survivor.